All right, welcome back, everyone. It looks a little dark out because it is dark out. I uh, got my trash bag over there. It is that big rummage sale where it's the bag sale straight from the start. It is blistering cold this morning when I, when I woke up. I took salsa, it was 26 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so it's definitely that old, or that cold fall morning. It's definitely here, but being the caffeine degenerate that I am, I'm getting iced coffee. There's no one here, but uh, it should be a fun day. I'll try to find some treasure. I stand in the cold for about a million hours. And uh, let's make it a good one. Let's do it. So I was in this office the very first time. Sealed, so I'm gonna get both of these. Solid brass, cool scrap metal. Put that in there, why not? Closed this year. Not much closed at all. And they all feel really funky. Don't know why. Sweatpants too, they might have been no, they're really dirty. I was gonna say I'll wash them and throw them in my pile, but I guess not. Dusty whaling ship clipper. Hopefully this thing does not break. There's no way all these will not break, but we'll try. Put in gently. Not really seeing much. Probably a lodge. It is a lodge. I guess I'll grab it. There's no cracks. Throw in a bag. I'm pretty much done here. I don't. This thing's getting really heavy. It's probably getting these hard goods. They're just really heavy. It's not much. All right. That was brutal. Oh man. Back of the van needs some work. Ah, uh, that's what I got. Ah. Uh, 
15 bucks. That thing was heavy. Uh, weird thing about this time, there wasn't that many clothes. Like, there wasn't really any clothes in comparison to when they usually have it. They also didn't have any CDs and no DVDs. So that was kind of, kind of, kind of weird. No records as well. I don't know why that was. Or video games. And not much electronics. But I think I got a good pair of roller skates. So we're going to have to see... If I was right with that, I'm out of breath. Carrying that from that door to this door, this thing probably weighs 40 or 50 pounds. And I was really hoping it wasn't going to rip. As you can see, I have holes in it right there. Another hole up there. Another hole down there. So, uh, not bad for 15 bucks. I'll do a recap here shortly. Got a lot of cool things. A lot of cool things. All right, heading, heading home now. I literally just saw one of those big air conditioners, you know, like the ones I, uh, I was talking about. Oh man, probably about a month ago, uh, there was like central air units that if you scrap them out, you make a ton of money. And it was sitting there by the curb. So I got to spin around and go get it. Uh, as I remember, the aluminum copper radiator on that alone is about $35. And then the sealed unit's about $8. And then the rest of it's usually about three to four. So you're going to pick up about 40, 45 bucks and scrap on that air conditioner. Uh, but I'm going to have to be quick because I know it's a it's a road that's traveled a lot and it can get a little 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 scary at times. Let's see if I can even just I'm pull into the bank area and see if this is going to be easier. I can even go through on the bank side. You might not be able to. Wow. Wonder if they did that on purpose. I'm gonna try to quickly grab that and let you guys know. I'm not gonna show you at the end. It's, it's a little scary at times. All right, so here's this beast. Just threw it in there. Probably could have laid it on its side. Uh, but this is the radiator, the copper aluminum radiator. Now, there's not that many noodles. You can probably see a little bit of a noodle there. There you go. There's not too much copper on it, but there's a lot of a copper aluminum radiators. And like I said, this thing probably weighs 35 pounds for that. Uh, I think. <laughs> I think I took off the sealed unit once and it was like 80 pounds or 100 pounds and it was like really, really heavy, but yeah, uh, that was that. So I'm going to have to rip this apart. It's pretty easy. It takes you about 10 minutes. You know, you have to take off all these little, these kind of bolt screw kind of things. Uh, then a sealed unit's usually right here in the center. That's what's holding these screws and bolts down. But once you rip off this outer frame, this is exposed, so you can just easily kind of cut that up. And then you have this part, which I don't know how that came apart with that, but that was also there. And this has a ton of copper on it. You got some more copper fittings down here. Uh, and I'll probably end up just cutting along this top bar because that's iron. And you'll get clean copper aluminum radiator for this piece, which right now I think is a dollar per pound. I'd say it's probably about yeah probably about 12 to 15 pounds right there so that's about 12 15 bucks like i said it's probably about 35 bucks so uh probably 50 60 after both of them combine they take off all the copper and all that so not a bad score there we'll do the recap very glad i grabbed that uh usually i wouldn't turn around for an air conditioner but those big guys you see a 50 dollar bill just laying down on the ground you gotta grab it did a recap with this bag all right so this is my haul today uh, i'll just kind of go through this really quickly so there wasn't really too much clothes there none of these clothes are really great i was kind of disappointed usually when i go there i come across a, a decent amount of sweatshirts and, and crew necks and stuff like that but this time they just had a really really small pile uh we have a tommy hilfiger shirt up front we have this ben roethlisberg uh, Pittsburgh Steelers football jersey. It's a youth size, like a kid size. I think I might just bring this to the flea market. It'll definitely sell jerseys up there, sell really, really good. So if you ever come across like, I don't know, filler jerseys or stuff like this, you know you get two or three bucks for. It's always great to kind of chip away at your, your bill, essentially. You got a champion sweatshirt. This I thought was kind of nice. It's a nice plaid. I'm gonna probably keep it for myself. And then we have a uh, Notre, Dame, uh, Notre Dame alumni band jacket, probably from the late 80s. Uh, it's made by Sports Mass 
Sportsmaster made in USA. It's one of those nylon kind jackets. I thought this was an older hat when I first saw it because I saw the stripes. It kind of seemed like that, but I looked inside and it's definitely not. This is a snowboarding company. Uh, this NASA hat, I thought I was just going to throw onto my box lot of hats that I bring to the fleet market that I usually sell. Every single time I go up there, I sell probably three to five hats. And so I just add to that list. So that's kind of cool right there. We have a older Nike beanie. The last time I grabbed one of these, I think I grabbed it out of that clean out estate. True Blues. This is a reproduction sign. It's not really worth much online. I think get this at Hobby Lobby for like $14.97 maybe. These advertisement things still sell very, very well. They're not worth a lot, but they always sell just because people like to throw it in their garage. Usually I get about three to five for this. Uh, we have this nice looking boat. The good old whaling ship. I'm surprised this thing did not break on the, the way home, but I think somebody would probably appreciate something like something like that. It's kind of neat. One thing that kind of went out of style was the VHS players or VHSs. Where the VHSs, these VHSs blank used to sell for a decent amount of money, but I think as technology kind of evolves, a lot of people have kind of got away from them. Uh, you used to be able to sell, you know, something like this for $15, $20, just the blank VHSs. I don't think they're still going for that, but uh, still thought I'd pick it up. It's, it's, if it doesn't go for a lot on eBay, somebody at the flea market's probably going to buy it and try to, uh, try to sell it, or I'll add it to a collection. So sometimes I do come across these in box lots, and I can just add it to that. Uh, add to that bulk listing of blank VHS's. Some older puzzles. It's a Milton Bradley puzzle. This one's still sealed. So people love sealed puzzles. This one cost $3 at one time. I thought that said $32, like wow. Uh, but still sealed, so this would definitely sell. This tray, probably about two years ago, I picked up a tray very similar to this. At a yard sale for 25 cents, it was a Star Trek one, and I think I found a, uh, a Pac-Man one. This one has no anything on it. It just has dinosaurs. Same era, probably late 70s, early 80s. No idea what this goes to. Moving right along, I got myself some golf tees. These are longer ones, which I use a lot uh, for hitting golf balls. Speaking of golf balls, I have more here. Some soap, which I'll probably just use myself. That's my scrap pile, so I'll get to that shortly. Here's kind of the better items. This is the ice skate. So these are CCM Mustang. These are very sought after in the black and white. So the all black ones are very, very common. They sell for like 10, 15 bucks, but the black and white ones, I'll probably get 35 to 45 for them. This is definitely a good buy. Uh, these I thought were worth a little bit more. They are Nike Zoom Airs. These are the same roller skates that I think Jeremy Roenick wore in ice hockey uh, and Wayne Gretzky definitely wore. I think they're most nobly known as Yeiserman skates. I think Steve Yeiserman used to wear them. He, uh, or one of the, I think it was definitely him. Who, uh, who was it? No, maybe it wasn't. It was Alexei Kovalov. I don't know. One of the guys wore them uh, in the ice hockey version and they are worth a decent amount. Now the roller skates are probably worth anywhere between 50 to 75. The ice skates, I would say anywhere between like 60 to 200, especially in the white. These are in black. But for 50, or if I get 50 bucks out of this, I'll be very, very happy considering I spent 15 bucks on everything. Uh, I was really happy when I saw these because it's been a while since I've ever come across Nike Zoom Air rollerblades. I never come across ice skates in my life, so. Not too bad, got $80 in ice skates and rollerblades. Moving right along, we have some pewter salt and pepper shakers. This is just gonna be scrap metal, probably gonna be more scrap metal. You got some planters there as well. In solid brass, there's probably close to about $8 in brass there. I thought this was cool. Uh, this was also something I saw when I was leaving. Uh, it was still there, so I was like, you know what, I'll grab it. Nice piece of art, wood carved. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but it's on a what was a log. Uh, very, very cool. Somebody carved that out. This is just John Deere keychain. This is probably one of my favorite finds as well. This is a brass sculpture kind of thing. I don't know if it's hand done or what, but this is just an all around nice thing. It's really, really heavy as well. I think I'm going to flea market this or maybe eBay this. 
uh, something about it. Very, very arty in a way. Piece of galvanize. A mason jar that has the wrong lid. This is an older mason jar with a newer lid. Some stainless, some pewter, some more brass, extension cord. Uh, we have a large uh, cast iron skillet. And this nice looking fan, which is made in the People's Republic of China. So very, very cool there. Uh, so spent a total of 15 bucks here. Retail value, I think, of everything is probably around 200. It's not really a huge score in any way because, you know, it's always, you know, a treasure hunt and it's fun in that way. But uh, overall, it was another fun day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It was a great day to go out treasure hunting. I'm kind of disappointed because now I know I have to wait about five to six months before I can do this rummage sale again. But one of my favorite rummage sales to attend. Hopefully I wish I wish I would I wish I would have picked up some more clothes, but I guess I'll deal with the uh, the hard goods instead. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smack the like button. If you guys want to see more treasure hunts in the future, definitely subscribe. And I'll catch you up with you guys next time for the next adventure. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.